to know recipes where we elevate everyday meals using tried and true techniques. I'm Mark Matsumoto and today I'm going to show you how I make my spaghetti alla carbonara with a rich creamy sauce made from eggs, cheese and guanciale. It's ridiculously easy to make and delicious. Carbonara is a relatively modern Roman dish that's gotten mangled as it's worked its way around the world. The basic dish is just five ingredients. Pasta, guanciale, pecorino romano, eggs, and black pepper. That's it. The magic is in how these simple ingredients are combined together to create this luscious, creamy sauce that just lacquers each strand of pasta. Are you with me? Let's get started. Our ingredients for the carbonara include guanciale, pecorino romano, olive oil, spaghetti, eggs, and black pepper. Believe it or not, spaghetti comes in different thicknesses and you want to use the thickest one you can find as the extra surface area gives the sauce something to hold on to. Get started by putting a pot of water on to boil the pasta. You want about a tablespoon of salt per five cups of water. To prep the guanciale, I'm gonna chop it into fairly large chunks. This allows me to get the outside nice and crisp while the inside retains a burst of fat. If that's not your thing, you can also chop them into thinner batons so the fat renders out more evenly. For the eggs, I'm going to use one whole egg and three egg yolks. If you want a pasta that's less rich, you can go with two whole eggs. Or if you want to go nuts, do away with the egg whites altogether and just go with six yolks. Be sure to use eggs that you feel comfortable eating raw as the residual heat from the pasta isn't enough to fully cook the eggs. Now we want to grate in some pecorino romano. You can also use parmigiano reggiano, but it's a little less salty and intense, so you'll want to add more of it. Finally, some black pepper. Or if you're anything like me, lots of black pepper. Okay, now we just need to whisk this up. Mmm, don't you love that golden color? Okay, this sauce is done. So now let's move on to the pasta. Once your salted water comes to a boil, add the spaghetti. I like mine done al dente, so usually I boil it for about a minute less than what the directions say. For the guanciale, I'm gonna fry it in a bit of olive oil until it's brown and crisp on the outside, but still juicy on the inside. Okay, that's looking about right, so I'm gonna take this off the heat while we wait for the pasta. Pasta's done. Once it's drained, I'm gonna toss the spaghetti and guanciale together off the heat. The idea here is to lower the temperature of both so you don't end up with scrambled eggs when you mix this into the sauce. Now we just wanna toss this together until every strand of spaghetti is coated in the golden yellow sauce. Okay, that's looking kind of amazing. So let's get this plated up. Here's where I show you how to get a neat twirl of pasta, so listen up. You want to use some tongs in either a small bowl or a large ladle. The trick is to grab onto some pasta with the tongs and pull them into a bowl where you twirl the pasta around the tongs. It's kind of like how you twirl pasta with a fork and a spoon but on a larger scale. Repeat that a few times and you should end up with a plate that looks something like this. To literally go over the top with this carbonara, I love dropping a sous vide egg onto this nest of pasta. It adds just a bit more creamy oomph, which takes this classic to the next level. Hit the link above for the recipe. Okay, let's finish this off with a bit more cheese and a crack of black pepper. And our carbonara is done. Okay guys, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's break that yolk. Oh yeah, look at that. The sous vide egg adds a whole new dimension of richness to this humble pasta. I mean, just look at that golden yolk. 
The sauce is rich and creamy without adding any cream. And the pasta is seasoned with the nutty pecorino and the funky fat from the guanciale. Speaking of guanciale, when you bite into a chunk of it, the crisp porky crust gives way to a burst of salty fat that just floods your brain with dopamine. Okay, okay, I admit it. I'm a guanciale addict. This probably explains why carbonara is one of my favorite pastas of all time. This is one of those quick meals that comes together in about as much time as it takes to boil a pot of pasta. So it's perfect for a weekday lunch or dinner. Are there any pastas that you want to see me make? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss my next delicious episode. I'm gonna go enjoy my pasta, but I hope you'll give this a try and I'll catch you next Sunday. Be sure to catch us on Instagram at no recipes.